The community is remembering a local student athlete, Blake Bozeman, from Prince George's County. D.C. police say he was shot and killed inside a nightclub on H Street Saturday night. Fox 5's Nana Santubonsu is live in Northeast with the latest on this investigation. And Nana, what's it like out there right now? Sierra, good evening. It's quiet. Um, it's 8th Street. You could still get some noise in the background, but I want to show you the front door and window of Crew Lounge. You see these orange bright signs that lets the public know that this establishment is temporarily closed after last night's tragic shooting that claimed the life of a 31-year-old husband, father, and former student athlete from Bowie. It's tragic. It reminds you that you're mortal and that life is really finite. On Saturday night, Blake Bozeman's life was taken during a shooting at this club off of H Street. My hearts and the hearts of all the commissioners go out to everybody who's affected by this violence. D.C. police say a total of four people, three men and a woman, were shot inside Crew Lounge just before midnight. Bozeman later died at a local hospital. Since the news of the 31-year-old's passing, condolences are pouring in from the region's sports community. Bozeman, a guard, played basketball at Morgan State University for four years where his father, Todd Bozeman, coached. In a statement, the university says he was a shining example of what it means to be a student athlete. Before his time playing for the Bears, Bozeman spent a couple years at Paul VI Catholic High School. His coach, Glenn Farrell, says Blake contributed to our first state championship in 2009. He was an outstanding young man with a great smile and dynamic personality. We're told Bozeman also spent his time volunteering in the community, including Special Olympics events. ANSI Commissioner Mike Velasquez calling the shooting that happened inside the club that is now locked another act of senseless gun violence in the city. We don't need guns on our streets and we certainly don't need them inside establishments. So we have to first understand in this particular case why a gun got inside. Now, a number of people that we spoke with off camera asking those same questions. How did a gun get inside this club? Some even told us that on some nights here, there are actually security guards and sometimes metal detectors as well. So a lot of questions tonight. But right now, D.C. police, they are still searching for a suspect. So anyone with information is asked to call them. Sierra. So heartbreaking. Thank you for that report tonight, Nana.